So a normal distribution has a mean of 40 and a standard deviation of 6. What percent of the data is above 50? Well, let's first start by shading this and drawing a picture of what this is all saying. So 40 is in the middle. If we have standard deviation of 6, it would be 46 there, and this would be 52. All right. Now, if we stop, we're looking at 50 right here. 50, 50. Okay, so 50 would be right about here. Let's draw that in. So 50 would be somewhere maybe around here. And we're talking above that. When we're talking above that, we're looking at this little piece right there, that little wedge. So we're looking at what percent of this is this. Remember, under the bell-shaped curve is 100%. So this is going to be a very small percent. So my answer should be pretty small. So what I have to do is first I have to find the z-score of this right here. I know it's one point something because this is one, this is two, one point something with my z-score, and then i got to use my table. Okay, so how do we find the z-score? Well, we use the formula. Okay, the formula is right here. So let's calculate it. It's going to be my value, my z-score, sorry, my z is equal to 50 is my value minus the mean divide by the standard deviation. All right, when we do that, we are going to get 1.67. Now, that is my z-score. All right, so 1.67. So I have to use my table, and when I look at my table, what is going to be the percent from the table? And remember, the table gives you below. The table gives you this value over here. So when I do that, the table is going to give me a 0.9525. All right, which that... Um, is equal to 95.25%. But like I said earlier, this is a small percent. So it's not 95.25, it's the other side of this. So what I have to do is I have to take a 100% minus 95.25%, and that would give me what we want, which is 4.75% of the data is above 50, not very much. A normal distribution has a mean of 40 and a standard deviation of 6. What percent of the data is between 38 and 58? So let's first start by drawing and shading it on the bell-shaped curve. 40 is going to be the middle with steps of 6. So let's write that in. So we got uh, 40 in the middle, and we're going by steps of 6. So it would be 46, and then it would be 52 and then way over here, that little piece would be 58. And then when we go down by sixes, well, this would be 34. And that covers all my values. All right, so if we put 38 on there, 38 would probably be somewhere around here. And 58 goes right to there. So what we're talking about is the space right here between those values. Woo, all that right there. All right, so this is the area we're looking at. Now, we can tell here probably a little bit more than 50%, all right, because 50% would be from here all the way to the edge, and this, there's not much out here. So this would be a little bit maybe around 60-ish, somewhere around 60, I'm guessing, would be the, error, the, the percent inside of this curve, but we have to actually find it. So let's do that. So what we have to do is find the z-score at both edges and then subtract the two areas. I'm sorry, and find the z-scores, and from that, use a table, and then subtract the two areas. You'll see. So, first, z-score. We'll do a z-score of, let's start with the big one, the 58. So, 58 minus 40 divided by 6. When you do that, you get 3. All right? And we get the other z-score, which is 38 minus 40 divided by 6, which is negative Point three three. All right, now when you look at your table, um, the first one, the, the 58, will have a value of 0 0.9987, and then the other one will have a value on table A of 0 0.3707. Now, just as a reminder, what you're doing with the table here is you look at the bell-shaped curve on the table, and at negative 0.3, it's, it's looking at this and looking at all this shaded. So that's 37.7% um, below. That's 37.7% of the bell-shaped curve. That's where that comes from. And the other one is saying if you do the bell-shaped curve, all right, and you go all the way over to third standard deviation, 
it's basically saying shade almost the whole thing. And what we're looking for is the difference of this red one minus the black, and that'll give us the in-between. Again, the red gives us the whole thing, and the black takes away this part from it. So we have to find the upper from table A minus the lower from table A, and that will give us the yellow in between. So we take this percentage minus that percentage, which would be 99.87%, and we're going to minus 37.07%. When we do that, we get 62.80%, which makes sense. That looks visually like our yellow piece. All right, let's make remind one more time. Where did this number come from? We look at table A. We look at this Z-score on table A, and that tells us the area from that yellow dot all the way back, all that stuff, which is almost all of it. That's, that's a 99.87%. Then the negative 3.3%. Negative 0.33 is right here, and it's all this area right here, which is that little picture, and that is, that's about 37%. And then to find the yellow, we take the big minus the small, and that gives us the area of the shaded region. A normal distribution has a mean of 40 and a standard deviation of 6. What values are in the top 20% of the data? So let's first draw this out using 40 and 40 is the middle and steps of 60. That will help us kind of build this off. So 40 is in the middle and we're taking steps of 6. That would be something like that. And if we want the top 20%, well the top 20% would be somewhere up here. You could use empirical rule to guess it pretty close, but it's somewhere up here. Line somewhere in here somewhere. I don't know. So how do we find that actual line? Well, what we have to do is we have to find, well, look at our table A and think, where is 20%? Now, it's 20% up here. So if we're really looking for 20%, we're actually looking for 80%, because on table A, it gives us the underneath space. So if this was 20, let's just say that's 20% right there, where table A gives me this part. So I'm actually looking for 80%. All right, so let me write that down. I'm going to find 80% on table A. And when I do that, on table A, when I look for 80%, what is my Z score? And when I look at it carefully, it's about, my Z is about 0.84. That's my Z score. Okay? Which, like with that, it's right about here somewhere. 0.84. Not all the way to 1, but somewhere around here. So I kind of can see where it's at. All right? So if we shade that, we can actually kind of shade that now. 0.84 would be somewhere around here. And so the values that would be in the top 20% um, would be all those values. Anything in this space would be those values. Now, the question is, what is the value? Is that a 45? What value is that breakpoint um, of the uh, 0.84 z-score? So let's find that exact value, because we're actually looking for x. We know z, we know our mean, and we know our standard deviation. So we could actually find the exact x value. So I'm going to 0.84 is my z. That equals x minus my mean divided by my standard deviation. And if I solve this, it'll give me the x value of that mark right there. So how do we solve this? Well, the first step is multiply both sides by 6. All righty, when we do that, the 6 is cancel. And 6 times 84 gives us 5.04. That is x minus 40, still over there. Then we're going to add 40 over to both sides. And I get x equals, looks like I have, 45.04. And if we think about our picture, does 45.04 make sense? Yeah, that actually looks like where it should be. So everything above 45.04. So if we want to write it exactly accurate, we should have probably put x is, has to be greater than or equal to 45.04 is probably the better answer because if you think about it, the other one, it, let me, let's just erase this. This is a little off because that one is just the break point. So anything above that, all these values will be in the top 20%.